before. So of course I'm making like kind of a vintage graphic style kind of t-shirt that you saw there in the opening. And you're not going to believe how I actually managed to put this together. Props to my brother for uh, giving me this idea and I've been meaning to do it for a really long time. Finally did it. So you can do this on any fabric. I decided to make a t-shirt. You'll need a sponge brush, a container, and then also some fabric paint. Uh, I didn't have fabric paint, so I have this fabric medium that you mix with acrylic paint and we'll, we'll turn it into fabric paint. You can follow the directions. I mixed that up in a container because I took my DIY on the road this week where I found this uh, sewer hole cover and I loved it when I was out for a walk. It has this really cool design that is unique to my city and I decided to use it and it's lifted, so it's a great great piece to actually transfer the design onto my t-shirt. So I'm just painting over the design here. For you, uh, maybe you can find something similar or you could just use other metal objects to transfer a print to, something that you like. But basically you paint it, you press it down and voila! At least that's what I thought. Look how disappointing this is. <laughs> there was like no paint transferred. I ended up having to go back to my apartment to get more paint. Uh, I also added gold into the color here as well. And that was a much better reveal. So it was a really, really hot day when I was out doing this and the paint was drying really quickly. So I ended up slothering the paint on and doing multiple layers. And you know what? They don't all match up. That's kind of the beauty of it and it kind of adds to the look. So the more layers I did, the more I liked the shirt. Uh, I, when I finished, please, 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 please make sure that you clean up anything, especially if it's public property. I don't want anybody going out there and leaving a mess in their city and vandalizing anything. So when I got back, I really hated the cut of this shirt. So I decided to cut off the collar, make it a little bit of a deeper V. And it kind of adds to the vintage look that I was going for. Um, something else you need to make sure you do is set in your fabric paint. Now mine instructed me to iron over it before you wash it. So just follow your directions. And and lastly, I added a little bit of like a few holes in my shirts and this is really simple to do. This is just to add to that vintage look. Grab your scissors, make a few small little cuts like you see I'm here, like I'm doing here with the tips of my scissors and when you pull them, they'll actually get quite a lot bigger. So that's all there is to it. I think added a really cool effect to it and I am pretty disappointed that it doesn't say Fredericton the right way totally forgot that it would be a mirrored image either way there's lots of things from your surroundings that you can pull from when you're creating DIYs or looking for a print to make a t-shirt of your own I'd love to see what your vintage shirt looks like when you're done you can show me some photos follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper and just tag me in any of those photos so I can see them Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe because next Wednesday I'll be back with a new DIY. Cheers!